So this problem says, calculate the wavelength um, and frequency of light emitted when an electron changes from n equals 3 to n equals 1 in the hydrogen atom. What region of the spectrum is this radiation found? Okay. So n equals 3 to n equals 1. hydrogen atom, you've got to use the Rydberg equation. Okay? So the Rydberg equation, remember, is 1 divided by the wavelength equals the Rydberg constant, which has to be given to you, I've given it to you up here, times 1 divided by n2 squared minus 1 divided by uh, n1 squared. just like every time I like to just write it down. Um, so here, the number of significant figures is infinite, right? So you can put it to whatever amount of significant figures you want, because the only numbers this problem gave you are 3 and 1, and both of those have an infinite number of significant figures. I'll usually do it to like 3 or 4 whenever that's the case, okay? But not that it's a big problem to do it to so 1 divided by 1 squared minus 1 divided by 3 squared. OK, so this is 1 minus 1 ninth, right? So I need to get a calculator. So when I do this, sorry about that, I get nine point seven five times ten to the one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is per one meter like that. Okay, so wavelengths aren't in per meters, they're in meters or appropriate type units. So what we're going to do is divide, say, 1 divided by this number, and that'll give us our, or invert this, right? Because this is 1 divided by wavelength. So if we want to get wavelength, we're going to take this number and invert it. So wavelength equals 1 meter divided by 9.75 times 10 to the 6, like that. Is everybody okay with doing that? Okay. 
and then I get 1.026 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. But let's convert this into nanometers because it asks us what uh, part of the electromagnetic spectrum this is in. So when you do that, so one meter is one times 10 to the ninth nanometer. So that's going to be what 102.6. Nanometers. So that'll be the wavelength of light. So that's going to be in the ultraviolet region. I know you guys haven't memorized the electromagnetic spectrum, but remember, visible is 400 to 750, so below visible, right below visible, was ultraviolet. Okay, ultraviolet. Okay. And then the last, it asks us also what's the frequency of this light. Okay. So I'm going to erase most of this stuff. Is that okay if I erase most of this stuff? And we'll do the frequency. So the only thing I really want to not erase, besides my answer, is this number here, because that's the number I'm going to use to help me get the frequency. So if you recall, and if you don't, this is something you need to remember, speed of light equation, C equals lambda nu, right? So frequency is nu, and we've got lambda, and we know the speed of light that's given to us, right? Speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So if we're looking for frequency, that's C divided by lambda, and 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per one second. And we've got meters here, so let's just use that number. Okay, are there any questions on this one? So I know we kind of did three different problems. We did the Ryberg equation, right? Um, and then we, I don't know, maybe two different problems. <coughs> Ryberg equation and then the figuring out the frequency using the speed of light. Any questions on this one? Again, I think the hardest part is to remember these equations. So remember the Ryberg equation. <coughs> 